Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Jamarat coming to you today with a brand new video, boys. And today, we are taking a look at our Team of the Year progress and having a look at the market. So let's get right into the video. So guys, welcome to another video on the channel, and today guys, we're just having a little catch-up video. It's been a few days since I've recorded my uh, last video, but guys, we are back and we are just going through a quick few things. So first part of the video, we're just going to go through and have a look at our progress on the Luka Modric. Um, the thing is, is that obviously guys, we weren't able to uh, get enough tokens to actually get the two, but we are still working on this Luka, guys. Um, you can see I haven't really done any of the nodes, just in case there is something that does allow me to um, actually go through and get the defenders. Um, but yeah, that, that's my progress on Luka. Need around 30 more tokens or so, um, which I will be able to get in the remaining few days, which is fine. I will have a video out on him and just doing his campaign. It will probably be on the last day of the year, guys. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's a bit of a shame that it's taken me so long. But obviously, like, because I did start to do the Danny Alves, so... Um, I did lose time on that. Um, I am only like a few tokens away from him, but because I'm focusing on Luca, it's, it's not worth it. I think that Luca is the better choice um, at the end of the day. Just because, you know, right backs and left backs aren't really the greatest guys, you know. Everybody uses diamond, let's be honest. It's the most OP um, formation in the game and just left backs and right backs don't really see all that much game time in the game. Hopefully that's changed in the future because 99% of the time when you actually play the game, uh, you come up against Diamond. I um, also just want to show you guys my team. Um, we have actually been working on sort of upgrading a few of the icons, guys. Um, I do really want to replace Thiago Silva. I do not rate him whatsoever. Um, he's, he's not really the greatest of defenders in my opinion. Uh, also, we have started to train up Petit and Maldini. Um, I will have a video on ranking up Dali Ali. In the future, guys, we do have the XP to do it, but we're just waiting to see what sort of madness happens uh, with regards to the, the team of the year when the starters become auctionable and um, just the sort of the state of the market. Now, one other thing that I do want to quickly talk about today is just um, potential investing. So, as you guys all know, uh, there, there are the value packs, and the value packs sort of put a severe dent on the market. It does give rise to sort of invest in things, guys. So, obviously, we've had the defenders. Um, you know, most people who are going to buy them uh, would have bought them by now. But you know me, guys. I do not buy stuff in this game. I'll just show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so, we've got this one here. Is it? No, sorry. Let me just double check that. I'll just go back to the store. Which one was it? There's a new one, and it's strictly for defenders. Um, it's not that one. It is... Yeah, it's this one. So... This one here, obviously, you know, there's high chances of, you know, all the big boys spending big money and, um, you know, packing nominees and selling them. And obviously that drives down the prices of the cards. Um, like I said, most people would have actually bought these by now. Um, but assuming that there's a Defender one, you know, when this one expires in 13 hours, I also assume that there will be a midfield and attackers one. So we'll just quickly look at the midfielders, guys, um, and just have a look at their prices before... The value packs actually do come out. Um, so first and foremost, let's have a look at the the prime nominee card, in my opinion. You know, the, the purple uh, Tony Cruz. So as you can see here, Tony Cruz is sitting at around 4.4 million. That is something, or actually, yeah, 4.4 million. So that is something that you want to consider when the packs do actually come out um, and whether or not he is worth investing. Um, another potential decent one is uh, Roger Nijngaelen. Obviously, he's a very popular card, um, but in terms of sort of people needing him or wanting him, most people have Petit and people who run um, the Diamond, you know, they don't necessarily want another a CDM. Although, there is the formation uh, which does have two CDMs, so he could be the second one. Um, so, as you can see here, we've got nine Gillen. He's around 2 million coins. So, just keep these things in mind. Now, a lot of people ask me about investing, so I'm just going to quickly talk about it. Um, obviously, the most important thing is just to check their prices before, you know, variables which can affect the market come into play, such as value packs, coin packs, um, you know, tradable cards. There's, there's a lot of things that you need to sort of remember 
when investing but these are just a few of them and let's have have a look at robin so he's i can't remember what his rating is no it's not 84 it's 85 um let's see here these are some decent options guys you know if, if they do sort of drop by 30 to 40 percent uh in in their current price obviously you need to check your own market because every market differs they could be worth an investment but investing in elites is always very very risky so he's around 2.2 mil um let's take a look at casemiro as well he's another decent card um you know another brazilian which is obviously useful for icons in the future that's another thing that you do want to consider as well um also uh these cards you know might be useful in the future for um you know icons and their campaigns guys not just necessarily the icons uh because you know i'm i'm working on petit and maldini's uh campaigns at the moment as you can see there we've got casemiro at around 1 million coins um, so yeah, maybe tw 20 to 30% decrease in his price. It's very interesting to see. Just make sure you check it when the value packs do come out. Um, also, another card that could potentially be worth investing, um, although he isn't, he hasn't got the greatest of stats, is Iniesta, guys. Um, so he's sitting at around 1.25 million. So yeah, I always look, you know, for margins of around 30 to 40%. Uh, from their decrease, but that's ultimately up to you. Another card that I've been um, thinking about getting as well is potentially Verratti, just because um, I do think I need him for Maldini's campaign. So if his price does drop um, to a relative uh, price when the midfielders do come out, I will definitely look at getting him. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my opinion on it, guys. Um, also, we have got some Team Heroes investments to collect. I'll just quickly show you. As you can see here, we've got the Barclays. We've got the Baki Yokos, we've got the Lindelofs and the Bashuais. So I will go through and collect all of these just to see um, what we are at. So let's see here. We've got the Barclays, Baki Yokos, Lindelofs. Uh, yeah, also, we won't collect that Thiago or that James Rodriguez. The James Rodriguez was actually another investment. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of coins tied up at the moment, guys. Um, just in investing because ultimately that's the best way to make coins at the end of the day what you invest in is entirely up to you but just making sure you are aware of sort of the market and the situations that can occur um it's very interesting uh, but yeah so 25 mil but yeah like i said we've got a lot of stuff tied up at the moment so that's all right guys um and we have been upgrading the team a lot like we have upgraded we upgraded maldini twice um which cost quite a bit um we have actually got some more of his xp which we will be putting into him in the future. But other than that, guys, um, we will hopefully have the Petit campaign finish um, after Team of the Year. Just working on Team of the Year at the moment. As you can see, I've got all of Petit's XP, except for the final one. Um, so we can get him up to nearly a 97 overall, which is going to be absolutely crazy, guys, because at the end of the day, Petit is one of the best cards in the game. And everybody, I mean everybody, should be training this guy. Um, even if you know you are working through his campaign, definitely do it guys, definitely 100% do it because he is French and you know the French players that you do use you can use in the future for other icons. But other than that, this is going to be the end of the video for today. Make sure you just wait um, before deciding investing to invest whether or not. Um, but yeah, check your marker and then go from there. And this is the end of the video for today. Thank you all for everything and peace.